Hello, and welcome back. Um, this is the video immediately after the uh, the respec video, of course. It's only been a few minutes. Uh, well, about thirty minutes. I took a little bit of a break. Got a little coffee. The rest of my throat. I picked up. Um, let me show you this. This is hilarious. I picked up Preston, and I looked at his inventory, and. Uh, he has the broadsider. I have no idea where he got that from. But uh, I found that amusing. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here is we've got um, <clears throat> Super Mutants attacked Oberlin Station. Uh, and of course... Uh, the dog has to shake his head over there. Every time I click the play button. One's asleep over here by me. and He's continually barking and the other one's just being irritated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Oberlin Station. Uh, hopefully he can keep up. Uh, we're going to go to Oberlin Station though and see what we can do to lend a hand. Let's see. We're going to try. This is a big old bulky thing, but it is an energy weapon. And that's eventually what I'm wanting to move her over to for the most part. It's going to be energy weapons. Um, that's the blowback. That's the pistol. That's the blowback. That is the 10 millimeter SMG. It's actually one of my more favorite of the weapons there, is the SMG. Now what I would like to do here, or actually what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to go to Grey Garden. I'm going to pick up that quest from Grey Garden. Oh, stuff back. You sure uh, that's I'll, worth taking with us? Uh, yeah, it's worth taking with us. You're going to agree with me whenever I have to build... Uh, Water purifiers at the castle, buddy. I'm not going back in the cave, though. Right now. But, uh, yeah. We're going to go to Grey Garden, pick up that quest, and we're going to shoot across the, uh, the railroad bridge there at Grey Garden. And, uh, that's going to take us straight to Overland. flower. Almost missed that. And uh, I still haven't uh, found the raider and his dog over there, so of course I'm not really looking either, but usually they attack me when I come this way. Um, and I also want to make another sweep through Concord and get all the salvage that's still left in those house. And you know what we haven't done? I got distracted. We have not hit this house and looked down in the... Uh, Well, this isn't the right house, but um, the you know where the, um, the the cooking fire is, and you get random encounters down there all the time. Oh, hello, vodka bottle. I want to settle for vodka, man. Are you, are you humming? I've got the volume low enough to where I can hear stuff in the game, but sometimes not clearly, like him humming. Alright, well, I'm on the wrong side of town, I think, part. I need to be, like, over there or something. Oh, yeah, 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 the house on the end where you get the sniper rifle and you can look down on it. We'll check that out later. <clears throat> and this is also an area for random encounters here. So. I 
I'm periodically doing the saves just a little bit more than normal because the game has crashed a couple of times and I don't want to lose a lot. Um, which is also why I don't like the fact that in normal survival you can only save at a bed. That's just, that's not my thing, man. I don't appreciate that in the least. I understand survival is supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be stupid. Okay. Now, Grey Garden is going to be... Alright, that's Port Vega, so it's going to be a little ways up here and then to the right. <clears throat> I've also noticed that when I sprint is when the game crashes a lot of times. It's like I'm, I'm running so fast the game can't keep up. I don't know just an observation it could have some merit maybe not don't know now we haven't cleaned out the junkyard up here either it's got a bunch of mole rats in it we might do that on the way back and it would definitely be faster to move with my weapon up, but uh, with the random encounters, and, uh, I'm not sure everything that's in the uh, overhaul mod, I might get a different random encounter areas and stuff, I don't know, so the first time I'm coming through here, I'm definitely prepared at least. Yeah, but we'll, we, we'll clear that out later, I got a little stutter looking up there. And a car just fell off a bridge. Did you? Wow. Bird to bird. And there should be a set of power armor up there. I think it's up on the top side. I may, I may pick the quest up here and then swing by up there and see if I can get it. But that car certainly just fell off bridge. Why did it fall off the bridge? Weird. Just weird stuff. Uh, I missed the road. Here we go. <clears throat> Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. This place seems familiar. I... I think I saw a bit about it on the news, back before the war. It is hard to imagine how this has survived for so long. Yes, construction was completed mere days before the war. We were able to survive and continue our operations only because our creator made us fully self-sufficient. You see, there are sure. the worker drones carry out labor. We supervisors, that is myself, we are capable of complex analysis and decision making. I remember him. He was one of Rodko's senior engineers. But, uh, more than a little eccentric. That's the second time you've said that you remember something before the war. I think you're a little confused, darling. You simply can't have been alive back then. Robotics and... Yeah, sometimes I get the option. I wanted to, uh, tell her that I was 200 years old, but it didn't give me the option to do it that turn. Well, it's definitely unique. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should And know. she still gets snippy. A few other things. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few or jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. Sure. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? It's awful. 
isn't it, though? Pressure's down. This will never do. I don't mean to impose that. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water come via deer and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up. No, I like this quest because it's going to give me planters. If you can get it working again. Uh, once I complete the quest, I will, I will be able to have planters at my settlements. Um, and that's going to be pretty important. And why can I harvest this when I can't harvest anything else? I don't know. Can I harvest these? No, see? I can't harvest these, but I can harvest those in there. That's strange. Uh, it looks like it's... Is it getting evening time? It looks like it. Yeah, and it's 6.48 p.m. Hmm. Uh, how much junk do I have on me? I got a little junk. What can I do with that? Let's go over here. And let's make sure there's no random encounter that's going to kick our butts. Alright, and I want to try to see what we can do here. We exit our pit boy. It puts a duffel bag for us here. That uh, doesn't let me place it anywhere. Back before General Becker died, the Minutemen were a force to be reckoned with. But they were. Can we put it up here? Down here. Oh, your camp is too close to a city campsite or another settlement. Okay, so it's too close. All right, so let's just cancel that. Yeah. Cancel placement. It's too close to a uh, settlement. All right, so while we still got light, uh, oh, before I start spreading too much, let's, uh, let's do a quick save. All right, now Preston's going to get lost on the bridge. Can't help it. She can sprint for days. I love it. I, I just don't love it when it crashes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump up on the bridge here. And on a rail car up to there and there. And usually there's a mongrel out here somewhere. Let's find him. Detected him. That tells me there's something around here. It's about to be dark. I don't want to get too close to Oberland either uh, because then we won't be able to set the camp. Uh, Meyer Lurk Act. There could be a Meyer Lurk down there, then that may be what that was. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't see the mongrel, so. Let's try this again. Exit my pit boy. Um, is there a... Let's try right here. Alright, we're going to place it here. Yeah. Okay, now we can... I don't want to place a... I don't want to put a workshop. Um... Sleeping bags. I don't have any cloth. I'm missing the cloth for sleeping bags, so that sucks. However, we can put a chair here. Put one here for Preston. And then let me get out of this. 
Now we need some cloth, and it's dark. Um, is there anything on the outside of this plant? No. So I'm going to leave that tiny little camp there for the moment. Also, in survival mode, if you need bottles, this is where you come. Usually you don't come through the back door, you go through the front door. But uh, I'm just going to take everybody out while I'm here. That's going to give me cloth with sleeping bags. So. And technically, theoretically, we could just sleep inside. But I wanted to try the, uh, I wanted to try the camp out. How you doing, buddy? Say good night. You probably won't find me. Now we don't have very good. Uh... Uh, bats accuracy from down here and I'm just gonna pick up everything Only a fucking coward hides. oh I'm not hiding I'm just waiting for you let me disarm this trap great I'm hungry lovely up, you're dead. I hear you. There he is. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> See you later. Preston is probably going to give us away. No need to hide. I'll be over soon. Make sure he's not actually in. No sign of him now. But a bean cow brew will do in a pinch. The hell are you talking about, Preston? We're killing people. What the? See you later, Tower. The weapons down. And Preston's all up, uh, all up on the uh, walkway here. I'm pretty sure now, though, I have enough cloth. But whatever. We're getting a few stutters, so I'm just going to do another quick save. I'm not trusting the game at the, this point right now. Let's disarm this. That's going to give us. Uh, Springs and gears. Now we're gonna have a dude through here, and I'm gonna show you this room that I'm coming into right now. 
It's where I normally get all my bottles. I think, though, I cleared out the entire brewery, and I got, like, 350 bottles, something like that. Uh, let's not hit him there. Let's, let's hit him right there. And, of course, you know, the monkey. The monkey's got to go. Well, it is Raiders Preston. They do stink. But you you can get plenty of bottles. Uh, also, down on the brewery floor where we just were, there is an area with a chemistry lab, and there are cases of bottles. I mean, literally, cases of bottles. Let's... Oh, no, don't do that. Step down. I did a tutorial video on it, though, where you can go find all the bottles. Alright, and nothing to cook at the moment. Oh, caution, that's because there's rad roaches right up there. There's a hole in the floor with rad roaches up top. Yeah, I can see him right there. Ah, well. And then in these cases, they have bottles all over the place in here. I'll take your feather duster, though. Hold up. Yeah, I know. He's up there, and he sees me. Blah, blah, blah. And then they, they bowl with uh, the bottles, too. There's nothing here. It's, it's up there, Preston. Unless you can levitate, uh, we're just going to have to wait on him. Okay, so that's all the bottles in this room, and just... Let's see, it should be beer bottle, maybe? No. <laughs> Gwinnett, there we go. I got 40 Gwinnett brews, one lager, three pilsners, and four stouts. So, 44, uh, 48 bottles, just, just fooling around here. here. Just fooling around here. Yeah, the, the roaches are on to us, man. Roaches, dude. Roaches. Uh, I'll show you in a minute, Preston, since you're, you're being kind of funny with it. And there we go. Plus, you will get some beer out of this, too, man. Uh, Gwinnett. So, hopefully, you like Gwinnett, but... Alright. These two guys are in here. No biggie. Oh, hello, mama. Okay, I can do something with that. I will take the military ammo bag. Thank you very much. A little bit of jet. Now we're going to take care of the roaches so Preston can relax. All right. That's it. And there we go. <clears throat> now, I think there may be one or two more guys, but... For the most part, this place is cleared out, and then we just come through and just loot the, loot the desk and stuff. Doesn't look like anybody's been in here for a long time. Well, in this room, yeah. But, I mean, you know, we've been killing people, so. All right. That's done. Um, now apparently I need to eat. So let's let's have some juicy baked float fly. That's gonna be rad resist, I think. But whatever. I don't consider it a waste. 
wish I could pick these things up because that's going to have copper and steel in it. But anyway, like I said, we should have enough cloth now to be fine. And now I'm going to show you the mother load of bottles. Preston. Dude. Alright, so we're back on the brewing floor here, and there is a, well, let me grab these here. There is a room right around here. Just open the gate, and there are bottles everywhere in here. I mean, look at them. Bottles everywhere. Yeah, my light has shadows and crap. It's not really, uh, it's not really the greatest thing. And I haven't figured that one out yet. Yeah, I haven't figured out why my light's so jacked up, but I'm going with it, man. I'm going with it. Try to grab all the bottles there. I had a gas mask. Oh, uh, I can give you one. But like I said, the mother load of bottles. And then once you loot that room, um, you can just come out and turn off my janky light. And there are going to be bottles on the, uh, on the conveyor belts here. that you can also, oh, I can't pick up the flowers, too bad, that you can also loot. So you get tons of bottles out of this. That's why I was saying, uh, and they're really easy to, uh, you know, you just follow a standard pattern, and you can just take everybody out before they really even know you're there. Um, if you got good sneak, they'll never know you're there. But, you know, this is Fallout, and there's always a chance that you're going to get seen. Now, these actually have beer, and I know the legend up here. If you read Tower Tom's Terminal, he he had uh, he got Red Sister, and she's actually in one of the vats around here. Um, he just stuffed her in a vat and said it made the beer taste better, which is freaking disgusting, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, and now I just want to make sure we got everybody. Uh, let's grab these. Lockers. A Western outfit. Oh, nice. Uh, that's the um, integrated DLC mod. It, it actually lets you uh, you get uh, like 7.62 ammo, handmade rifles, Western outfits. You get stuff from the DLCs in the actual game, in the uh, vanilla game. Um, which pretty much as, as it should be. That's that's how it should be, but, you know. All right, I think we got everybody. We got the roaches, we got all the people, we got, uh, we cleared all that, we cleared all this, got all the bottles we could find. So let's look at the bottles. Let's go to Junk and go down to Gwinnett. We got 71, 26, 9, and 4, so we got about 100 bottles. A little over 100 bottles, so I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, a little over 100, and then looking at Gwinnett, we got 13 Pilsners and 4 Stouts and 1 Brew, so we got a little bit of beer to last for a while. Now I cleaned out both trip wires there, so we should be good. And like I said, there uh, sometimes you'll be able to find more bottles. I've walked out with like 300 bottles. All right, now we're going to go back out. It is dark. But we're going to try to... We should have enough cloth, at least. <clears throat> to make the sleeping bags now. Drink here. All 
And I'm just going to comment one more time. I love the dark nights, and it's raining now, so it is freaking pitch black, and I love it. Okay, so let's get back down in some sneak mode here, and let's use our camping supplies, and there we go. Now we can make two sleeping bags, so let's put one there. And I'm, I'm just putting one out for Preston. He doesn't need one, but... And now I'm going to sleep. You can only sleep, I think, four hours. So... I'm going to put eight, and we'll see what it says. I think it's four hours I slept in the bag. Maybe it's three hours. I tweaked it a little bit in survival options. Um, so sleeping bags will give you a little bit more sleep than normal. And I'm not sure what's going on here. Why it takes so long to wake up. You can't sleep more than three hours in a sleeping bag. So we got a three hour nap. Some water. All right, properly hydrated now. Some stats. Yep, we're good. All right, so. Once you get done, like, that's three hours, you know, that's our sleeping bags, and we had two chairs over here, which I'm going to actually sit in the chair, and let's do wait, or can we wait? We cannot wait. If we sit in the chair and camp, we can't wait. Okay. So that's a good thing to know, too. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to tear down the camp, and what that does is it cleans everything up, it picks up the the bags. If you had a campfire out here, it takes care of that. And what time is it now? It is 3.20 a.m. So we have had a bit of a nap. And there is something close. But it is so freaking dark. And honestly, I prefer it's sleeping in the sleeping bag because uh, sleeping on a dirty mattress over there, you have more of a chance of getting a disease. So, yeah, something's here. I can't see it, though. The vats can't even see it. And honestly, I would like to sleep a little bit more to get more through the dark area, but let's just do it, man. We get some lightning and some rain every now and then. This is a jump scare from hell. I, I can almost see it coming. Look how dark it is over there. Because the super mutants don't have anything lit up over there. They just got their fires out. Now I can see the ladies up there have a, have a lantern going. Preston, you gotta get more quiet, son. Shoot. <clears throat> and here is Oberlin Station. There's our quest giver up there. Probably asleep, but we're gonna wake her ass up. And we are detected by something. Yeah. The men of men do 3 a.m. wake up calls. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 three AM. You'll be fine though. Hey there, friend. Look, we're in some real trouble. Maybe you can help. Well, I am the Minutemen. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? It's these damn green skins, the super mutants. Whenever they come through, we just have to run away or hide. They take everything they can eat and destroy most everything else. And if they ever took us by surprise, we'd all be dead. We can't live like this. Please, you gotta help us. Well, you could always go to a Sanctuary, but uh, you won't, so mm, I'll take I'll care take of I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Oh, God, I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Fraternal Post 115. Wow. 
that's actually I've never gotten that quest to take care of those super mutants. This will be a first. Oh man, we need daylight. Oh, y'all ain't got no chairs either. Yeah, y'all ain't got no chairs either. And about the only thing I can do is turn on my pit boy light, and that's just asking for trouble. Alright, so we picked that quest. I know I save a lot, but like I said, I'm kind of worried about the game at the moment. Because it's been crashing some. We're already at 36 minutes, so I might just uh, end this video like this. Ooh, hello. What do we have? I know what we have here, but uh, of course, Nikki does not know what we have. She did see it crash, but she didn't see the exact location of the crash. And now she has. Got a little bit of light with this luminescent mold stuff. All right. So it came in that way. You can see all the the burning trail there. Yep, it's a spaceship. Now I always have trouble finding this cave. I, I mean, I, I I know you follow the blood and all that, and you can get there. And I've been there quite a few times, but I always get backwards on I think that's it though oh it's getting lighter uh, he says as he runs into a tree um, alright come on Preston shit And we're going to go with ah, there we go. Because I want to try to do this in one shot. As long as Preston does not get in the way. There we go. Okay, two shots, but I did get a sneak attack. Now, the weapon, after four shots, will the fifth shot will have an explosion shot with it. However, when you reload, that resets it, so I just reset it. Uh, but I would rather have a full <clears throat> load. I guess you've got your reasons, but that just looks like junk to me. Of course it does, but it grinds down in the bone, and these are... Turn the ham radio off. And there's our alien blaster and blaster rounds. Holy smoke! Do you see that damage? Um. Yes, please. Uh, that's broken. Wow. That's some serious freaking damage, man. I mean, serious damage. 462 plus 62, 250 is 466, as well as 24, 524 damage. And it's uh, energy and frost damage. Whoa. That's freaking crazy. But, uh, I mean, I've never really liked the sighting on the thing. And 
I could turn it into a rifle. However, I do have a quest. Um, it's called Over the Moon. And it is a creation club quest. Let's see. Over the moon, right there. Investigate the roads west of Grey Garden. And pretty much, you just go on this quest. You go through each step of the quest. And at the end of the quest, you find aliens. You, they, they, they just drop down. Uh, the ship drops them down. You kill them. And they drop rifles and batons and, you know, you, you get to have a little bit of alien loot there. So that is one thing that I did, uh, I did, uh, do because I like the, I like the alien weapons and I was always sad that they didn't put more in them because in Fallout 3, you've got a ton of alien weapons, but, uh, yeah, so I got that quest from the creation club. And we'll, we'll do that eventually. I'm not in a huge hurry for it. But uh, they do have some good energy weapons. And hopefully uh, they're balanced. Okay, so uh, it is getting daylight. We will be able to continue on uh, to the fraternal post over here. Or over there, actually. It's across the river. But for right now, we're at almost 45 minutes. Um... I'm going to go ahead and call it for this one. And on the next video, we will take care of those super mutants. And I've got to remember what I'm doing again. And if we don't take care of the super mutants quick, fast, and in a hurry, they get reinforcements and it gets really nasty. So we definitely want to take care of those things quickly. So I will see you on the next one. And... Yeah, that's about it. That's all I can think of. I will see you on the next one.